Hey everybody, Spooky Month coming in. We are going to be opening up the Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. This is the second year they're running these. Now they come with 50 mini packs as opposed to 40 mini packs. And this is a weird interim between Sword and Shield and Scarlet Violet. So we get some hollows with both styles. I don't think they have the nice Cosmos foil on the um, on the Scarlet Violet one, sadly. So I'm a little more disappointed. But uh, as we're in the new house, I am going to be giving out some of these to the kids. So I figured pick up one. I'll just open as many as it takes me to get all the 10 hollows. I just want to have a binder page like I did with the last Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. And then we'll just give away the rest. And also, like, you don't need to see 50 of these open. I feel like I've seen YouTubers go ahead and do that. I'm like, why? <laughs> like, it's three cards. And you'll probably see them all after the first, like, maybe 20 packs tops if you're unlucky. Okay, so that's the big platter. And they, oh... You know what? I thought they were going to be a different color. I wonder if these are the same. No, no, no. Actually, no. I know it's different stuff in them. Is there anything to denote that it's Series 2? Trick or Trade. You know what? I'm going to pause this. I have the ones downstairs because uh, I gave some to my mother to give to uh, kids at her school. But um, they didn't end up all going, so I was going to give them out this year. I figured they had a variety for both. Let me see if there's any difference between the new ones this year and the ones from last year. One second. That was probably an awkward cut. We're back. <laughs> so there is a difference. These are the new Trick or Trade Booster Bundles. It's got Mimikyu and Pikachu freaked out on the front. And the old one had the Gengar with Pikachu. So yes, there is a difference. No, they're not fully green packs. I don't know why I was kind of hoping that. I kind of wanted like almost like a slime looking green. But uh, yeah, oh well. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. And for a second, I, I did look online before this to make sure, you know, how many haulers there were. That way I could save as many packs to give out for Halloween as I could. Uh, good to know <laughs> there is a difference because I opened this up and it just made me feel like there wasn't for a second. So we're just going to grab a handful of these and we're just going to put the tray off to the side because I don't think we're going to need this. And uh, let's just go for it so I can make myself another little spooky pack, um, or spooky pack, spooky binder page of stuff. All right, that's actually kind of cool. This is the first ever mix match Scar Scarlet Violet Sword and Shield product. So it'll be interesting to see the borders change if like, yeah, <laughs> yeah look, look at that. Okay, and the hollow is in the middle. Yeah, look, okay, so these are like the commons for this set. You know, they all have the Pikachu stamp thing, but they just have the different borders and it does show the original set they're from. Interesting, I know there are 30 cards total in the set between commons and hollows. I think there's just 10 hollows. Um, that's kind of cool to know. So yeah, you won't actually, I thought you're going to be able to see 1 through 30. But no, they actually just printed a different pattern on them and nothing else. So alright, that, that makes sense. But it's a little trickier if you don't have Google available to you or you don't think to look it up because like you'd never know how many you're supposed to open of this. Interesting. Um, and then the other thing that I did do, I don't know if it's helping at all, but I did add some soundproofing because I'm trying to... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, mitigate as much of the echo as there possibly is in here. I know it probably sounds fine. Uh, maybe this is overkill, but it does make this feel a bit more professional if someone walks in here uh, into the guest bedroom and says, hey, what's going on? <laughs> it's like, it's a recording spot. Got it. Uh, Spectrider, don't really, I guess it's ghostly. I guess that counts. Wait, did they, okay, let me take it out of the sleeves because it's actually harder to see once you put it in. Yeah, okay, they did the new Scarlet Violet Hollow, though, on the old Sword and Shield stuff. Okay, so they didn't do, like, a mixed printer. They did the same thing, but they did the borders the same, probably because they used the same printout that would have the same pattern there, but they didn't want to do two types of hollows. So, interestingly enough, reversed, like we had that one promo card that's a Scarlet Violet promo, I think, with the Sword and Shield Hollow pattern. We now have the reverse, actually, which is... Uh wild i don't think we've ever had like a weird interim where the cards have done this with the hollow patterns god i wish it was a little more interesting for this era but oh well at least the cosmos ones look really good <laughs> so we got the houndoom but yeah okay so we have like two instances of printers having to print an opposite eras thing with a new eras uh hollow pattern or picture pretty cool and so far we haven't doubled up yet we're doing pretty good i mean i guess the odds are in our favor to not double up right away but again, yeah, this is uh, the same Lost Origin Trevenant, which maybe got a hollow in that set, or maybe not. Maybe it was just a rare that never got one. I can't really recall this Trevenant hollow. But this is kind of cool that if you did want to play these ones in a deck, too, you absolutely can. I don't know if any of them are particularly useful cards. Like the Houndstone, probably not. Mm, I have seen that used occasionally, depending on the deck build. Okay. And then this, your Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon V. Hmm, if this Pokemon's... Oh, oh, okay, okay. Eh, eh, he's just kind of a stall. Nothing really crazy on that. 
let's see if we can why did i put these like this let's just get the stack maintenance going put this over here like that yeah, I'm, I'm actually super excited because I feel like the past few years, um, being at my girlfriend's place, um, we did get a good amount of trick-or-treaters, but it's not really, like, it's not insane, you know? There's, like, a good lot of them, um, but it pretty much ends in, like, a half hour. Um, <laughs> so that's usually a little sad. But with this year, like, moving into this new spot, like, I feel like there's a lot more families in this area. So giving out this stuff is probably going to be super easy, and I'm just really stoked to uh, actually be able to just sit on the couch, watch a horror movie, and, uh, you know, pass out candy in my new space. Like, this is... I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Also, old Gengar. Not using the new Gengar. I think there's a new Gengar in one of these sets. But, uh... Mimikyu. Nice. We're doing good. I'm going to have to do, like, a count in a little bit. I feel like we're approaching five or maybe six of these so far. Nice. Mimikyu. Oh, we, no oh, we do get to see the set. Duh. Paldea. And then, yeah, another Lost Origin. I well, It makes sense, because Lost Origin does have a lot of, like, ghostly stuff in it because of the Giratina being featured in the set. Can we keep this going? Come on, New Hollow. Yes. Though I feel like he got one last year, didn't he? Like, the same artwork. Yeah, right, because this is Vivid Voltage. That would make total sense. I, I guess it's a New Hollow pattern. It's, oh, I can't wait to go back and find the old binder page, but I'm pretty sure that is the same exact card they used last year, but it probably has the Sword and Shield pattern on it. Interesting. Let's keep it going. Okay, first duplicate, Houndstone. I'm not going to sleeve any of the duplicates. I really just want one of each. The rest we'll kind of just put in with the bulk hollows and whatnot. Chandelure, very cool. Also one that wouldn't have been featured, I guess. I don't know, was Lost Origin out last year? I don't, I don't remember my years and what sets were released at what time. So let's see, I think we're doing pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Most of them being psychic types. That makes total sense. Now is going to come the tricky part where we need to find the last two. And I don't know if we're capable of doing that. And God, I hope the internet didn't lie. Wow. Okay, maybe they're seated. These could be seated like right in a row. That would be very convenient if that was the case. But it's seeming that way. We got Mars Shadow, Rapid Strike. I know this was a hollow in Battle Styles for sure. I remember that. But we've got the new pattern. I do like that where he's putting the candle flames out. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, and I think my other thing I'm going to do, I have a ton of the Pokeball tin still sitting around. I was going to use it for another convention just to pass out to, like, Pokemon cosplayers. Hey, and there's the Pikachu. Oh, that's amazing. I think these things are... No, they can't be seated because this was randomly in there. I think we just got stupid lucky. But there is our Pikachu promo. Very cute. I, no, this isn't This isn't Paldea. I don't think, I think I remember seeing this Pikachu art, but it definitely looks really cute with the stamp. Awesome. Okay. That's cool. They still put the little staple Pikachu in there. But yeah, I think I'm going to take the other Pokeball tins and I'm going to put a few packs in it and I'll give that out to the first so many kids who come up and say they want Pokemon stuff. Um, obviously, I don't have enough. I think I threw a bunch out in the move. But I do have like one of each. So I think I might do that. That could be kind of fun. But uh, yeah, otherwise, have a happy Halloween. Hopefully you scoop some of these up. I mean, 50 of them for like 20 bucks. This is super easy to get. That's like basically the cost of Halloween candy. I don't think there's any harm in putting a bucket on the side. And if a kid goes, whoa, Pokemon stuff, you know, then they could just reach in and grab that. I like that that's, it's a mainstream product that's being put out. Um, I do enjoy making custom packs because that's a little bit more fun. And it's nice to give away some maybe like cooler stuff that I'll use down the road. Like, oh, yeah, I got that at a random Halloween. So I still like to throw that in. But these are kind of cool for a nice, cheap, easy, uh, cost-effective way to... Um... Oh, no, did I open the... <laughs> did I... Oh, no, it's on the side. I have a weird habit of just reaching for things. I thought I opened the old booster pack, but I did not. Um, yeah, no, I, I just think it's a, a cool way of, you know, giving away to kids and have like a Halloween theme pack. And you do get a hollow per, you know, if it's a kid who's just excited to get a hollow, at least you're guaranteed one per pack. And they're all spooky themed, which is fun. So, I don't know, go look in your local stores. I'm sure these things are everywhere. They'll probably be getting marked down as it gets closer to Halloween. So, uh, good luck, have some fun, and happy Halloween, guys. Peace.